it's been a minute we've missed you guys i hope you've missed us my name is rex and this is my gorgeous wife dibs hello everyone welcome if it is your first time tuning into this channel we welcome you we appreciate you please subscribe to this channel we really do appreciate that to everyone who's coming back welcome back we really hope you didn't miss us we missed you um and shout out to mom and dad for holding it down for the past two episodes we loved having them here we loved the wisdom but now we're back with a new topic you know let's get it going and today we're going to talk about none issues these are habits a way of life just things in j that you used to do before you were married and now that you're married they've become a huge deal like you fight they cause tension they cause strife and it's just like not nice anymore um there's a lot and we picked five of our top none issues that used to be none issues before marriage but now in marriage they're like some of the most biggest issues that we have to deal with on a daily basis are you ready <laughs> uh, you know, unless I'm the one that's wrong, I mean, do you think I was wrong? Nuns? Nuns? Mm. Was um, I wrong? I'm doing my emails. G give me a second. Was I wrong? Uh, about? Never mind. So the first one is phone usage. I mean, guys, there's no denying that social media and the phone has become part of our lives now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can argue it and become philosophical about it till the cows come home, but there's no denying that we find out about life and current events and things that are happening around the world through the phone. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're wanting to find out what's happening, is the president speaking today? You know what's happening? You go on your phone. Entertainment. Entertainment, everything. work, catching up with family, finding out if people are okay. You know, you do it through the phone. So when you already have a very busy life, you have work, you have children, you have household chores, when you get a moment to breathe, usually the first instinct is to grab the phone and check what's happening. And you neglect your, your partner spending time together, you know, and that starts to become a, a place of friction. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Like, um, most of the time, once you start getting really used to the phone and living your life on it, it, it creeps into, you know, intimacy time. And, um, into time that we'd like to spend together and watching stuff together um, And then sometimes also, you know, some of us get really jealous, you know, like if Dims is Dims has like Netflix on her phone She's got Showmax on her phone. She's got DSTV on her phone. So sometimes um, You know, I get jealous like hey, what about me? Why am I not interesting anymore? Vice versa. Sometimes I get too clogged up on my phone Yeah, and Dims would be like hey, you know, can you just like put your laptop away and spend time together? Mm -hmm. So it becomes a big, big issue because it takes away from quality time, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and at either or at any time of the day, she's either jealous with me, wants to get my attention or I her attention. So uh, before marriage, it never used to be an issue. She yeah. used to live in her own space with me in my own space. I could spend hours and yeah, hours okay. on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, but now it's just like it's, it's not good for a marriage. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And truth be told, we still haven't figured it right. Like, yeah. We're still we're trying, trying. We're to trying, get it right. But, you know. It's tough. It's tough. What's yeah. up? <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, Gmail, Gmail Netflix, Facebook, yeah, Netflix. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. All right. The next one. What did Daddy say? Huh? What did Daddy say? Come. Come. Please don't use a stick. You can talk to her properly. She can hear you. She's a child. But we need to discipline the baby. Yeah, but talk to her. Shucks, yeah. Hey, she parenting styles, hey? You know, um, again, that's informed by how you grow up. You know, Dims grew up in a specific way. I grew up in a very specific way. So two different styles of parenting. You come into marriage and it becomes an issue. Mm. Yeah. And both of you think you're right. You yeah. think you're always right. The other person thinks their way is right. And it's just like, no, but no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, our biggest one is routine like mm. i'm a pretty flexible person 
um i like to listen to the child and respond to the child's needs and not all the time like she doesn't control me mm. but sometimes when i can see she's bored around the house and she wants to watch cartoons i'm very flexible to say oh no watch tv uh, but Rex is very much into routine and discipline. Like mm. you watch TV for a certain amount of hours in a day. You sleep at this time. T you t the TV goes off at this time. You sleep at this time. You know. So if it's not TV within a certain amount of hours, then you know. Mm. Yes, you become flexible. Some sometimes after I've pushed once and pushed. In a, in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. But usually it's just like, why is the TV on? And I'm just like, why is the TV not on? We're chilling. Like <laughs> yeah. no one's doing anything. The child is bored. Let her watch TV. So it's just small things like that that and become it, huge. And then also like discipline. It's like you know, uh, I grew up in a very staunch Christian home. You have to be disciplined in this way. You have to understand what the parents are saying. And then Dims is also a little bit more flexible with it. You know, Ayana can get away with more things. With me, she cannot. You know, so I get those parenting styles. Sometimes I'm like, you're getting too easy on her. She's going to start being disrespectful. And then she'll look at me, Dims, and go, mm-mm, that's too, too strict. You know, so again, this was not an issue, you know, before we got married. We had talked about parenting, you know. Um, and then we're gonna love the baby and we were really like on the same page yeah. ideal parents yeah we were on the same page then the baby is here and all of a sudden like we're on different planets i'm this kind of a dad you're this kind of a mom and it became major major issues there are evenings where we couldn't even talk to each other because of something that happened with ayana how i spoke to her or how she let her go um so yeah, yeah. these are like really serious things that we n never really considered you know After I nap. Household chores. You. You know, so before you were married, everyone did them. Like you were in your own space, I was in my own space. Yeah. I liked things a certain way, you were comfortable with things a certain way. And now we're together and we're always nagging each other around. You don't leave the cup there. It's dirty. And we're, here's not this nagging, thing. we're not nagging and each other. And he's like, this is also my house. Allow me to be free. I want to do what I want. We're not nagging each other, she's nagging me. Think about it like this, right? Because Dims is like, but how come? Because my mom used to, like, my brother and I were on chores, right? We were not in one of those families where the guys, you know, get to relax and the ladies are the ones working. My brother and I were grinding in the house. So think about it like this, like, at 12, I had a vision, like, that one day, while I was mopping in the house, at 12, I was like, one day, I'm gonna have my own home and I won't get to do this. Hey, Kanti, I married this <laughs> beautiful lady who is OCD on chores, uh, dishes. I'll be drinking a cup of coffee and before I'm finished, she's like, are you going to wash them? Right? And I'll be like, I'm not even done. You know, so yeah. it's tough. It's rough. You know what? At the end of the day, there's a side that needs to be investigated and there's a side <laughs> that's really progressive. The side that needs to be investigated is it's a psychological and let, no YouTube diagnosis, please. <laughs> is, you know, I get healthy mentally when i am in a clean space yeah, but on the other side i'm very passionate about personal space it's something that i'm working towards a project that i'll share sometime in the future about personal space i mm. believe that every single person deserves a personal space that affords them serenity and a peace of mind and it's something that i'd like to gift people with and work on in the future so that's that let's move on to the next one the next one is <sighs> <laughs> Snoring. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh. oh my goodness. So guys, like, like I snore like a truck, right? A Unfortunately, truck. <laughs> like a tractor. Yeah. And uh, my wife doesn't give me a break in the evenings. You know, I have bruises. From here, it's not about me, breaks. Kneeing me. It's not about breaks. Imagine this: every ten minutes, you're needing to wake up to shake someone to be away because, you know what? He doesn't snore just like the normal. <laughs> like he snores like he's losing his breath. Like he goes, <laughs> and then he's he holds it like it's like he's losing his breath, and he goes. 
like the whole night it's scary it's loud sometimes even our daughter from her bedroom will go uh uh you know like it's very that's really really bad he has a deviated septum and it causes a lot of friction because you don't get enough rest you're waking up better you're waking up tired you're resentful <laughs> you're just not a happy person because quality sleep is everything guys um yeah i when we got married she knew that i told her I listen i didn't know how bad i snore and she was like hey it's not an issue right mm. snoring is not the only thing that will be happening in the bedroom <laughs> So, uh, turns out it's a big issue. Yeah. So, sorry, we'll keep working on it. <laughs> it's not your fault, but I hate it. All right, so the last one is... <gasps> Yay! What? Look, concert's coming up. Mm. Uh, ah, we said we're going. Netflix. Outdoors and indoors personality. Hey, so I'm I'm a I'm an indoors guy. You know I love my indoors, spending time indoors. When we met, I knew that she likes her outdoors. She likes going to nature parks. She likes being with friends outdoors. And I am an indoors person. You know I am much more comfortable when I'm in the home. And you know so we knew that about each other and we accepted each other. Um, and we're like, okay, great, we will grow together and some of your outdoorsness other. will point to me and some of my indoor personality will point, hey, Kanti is an <laughs> issue. <laughs> the first week, lady wants us to go to a restaurant. I'm like, hey, uh, are we not putting, whipping something together and watching something? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it became so many issues, you know, are we not going to meet up with this pair? Are we not going to, are we not going to? We never do anything. Mm. We're always in the house. No, 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 no. So it caused so much strife that I started to feel like he changed me. I'm not the same person anymore. I'm not as outdoorsy. I don't go to parks. I don't do this. I don't do this. And it caused a lot of strife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's. I won the argument when the lockdown started. <laughs> and we were locked indoors. I was like, mm hmm. But yeah, no, it's, it's cool to be balanced, you know. Yeah. Um, now that we're, the levels are decreasing, we promised each other. Yeah. That we will go we more will outdoors. We will be going yeah. out, yes. Much yes. more. It's the summer, it's spring, whatever it is. You heard it, guys. Witnesses, we are going to be outdoors nature people. <laughs> Catch us out at the nearest park or flea market or whatever. I'm really excited. But it's good, balance. It's good to go out together and do stuff together, and we're really excited to do that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so those are some of the things we thought to share out of a long list non-issues that become issues when you enter into marriage we'd like to know what you think share some of your opinions your views if you see these things happening if they're happening in your own life we'd really love to have a conversation with you but other than that thank you for tuning in see you next week bye guys